Now we have literally just arrived in Penang. Well, this morning we have arrived. I'm checking out the streets. We are here on the famous Armenian street. Wow, look at this place. Oh, come over here, have a look at this. A lot of you will recognize this. Penang is absolutely super famous for street art. And that piece I think is quite iconic in Penang. I recognized it straight away. Now we've literally just been here this morning. I met some guys in the temple just up here, had a little game of, um, that's what I need to get, some transportation. Had a little game of a wicker ball game. It's like a keep the ball up. I'll put up some little video here so you can see. Anyway, super hot and super sweaty. Penang is famous all over the world for great food, great street art, and endless scooters. Now, I do need to find myself a way around while we're here, so I'm gonna have a look out. Uh, I could take one of these sort of tri shores. Most of the places we stay in Asia, I try to get myself a little scooter, so I'll be looking around here, see if I can find myself a scooter, maybe we'll get some bicycles. I mean, Georgetown itself seems really walkable, but if you want to get a little bit further out, you're going to need something else. Otherwise, you've got to get one of these things, this guy over here, these lads. Let's have a little chat with these guys and see if they tell us how much it is for the, for the bikes. So, how much is it for... Let me come around here. Okay. Let me come around here. How much is it for one hour? This one, the bigger one, is for per hour 60 ringgit. 60 ringgit, uh, yeah. The small one, four person one, is uh, for, for 30 that ringgit. That one over there? Yeah, yeah correct. 30 ringgit yeah, for yeah. one, one hour. hour for... well, this is electric, yeah, is it? Yeah, this electric. Oh, electric's uh, good. Nice and uh, easy. Yeah, <laughs> but the non for rent for any people. Just, Just for special for old men. Then how much is this one? This one per hour, 100. 100 Malaysian ringgit an yeah, hour. Right. Okay. So they're a lot of fun, but uh, it's probably not for me for getting around for the whole month here in Penang, but um, we'll certainly be having a go on them. So that's one option for getting around Penang. Um, you can hire bikes. I know I've seen people uh, hiring motorbikes here, so we'll probably look into that option. The transport here is really good. You can easily get taxis around. Uh, the Ubers run throughout the city. Come and have a little look over here. Look at this example of uh, street art. Now, what I really do like is these wrought iron. Have a read of that. Uh, the hand-pulled rickshaw was the most popular form of transportation in early Penang. Now, these huge wrought iron pieces of artwork are peppered all around uh, the old Georgetown area, and it gives you a little insight into the history of Penang, which is great. So you can actually get maps and travel around Georgetown, spot these, have a little read. These girls over here are probably doing that. And you can go around Georgetown, take yourself some photographs with all the little bits of art, and there's some very famous pieces here. So we've got to get our feet under the table, get to know the geography of the town, uh, decide how we're going to get around Georgetown and the island of Penang. Remember, it is an island. Uh, you can usually find your way around fairly easily. Penang has clearly got uh, a history of bicycles. This place is like a, almost like a bicycle museum. Everywhere you look, there's bicycles or bits of bicycles turned into art. Isn't that great? Now up here is the temple, which is the reason I was hot and bothered today. Actually, it was heaps of fun. And those guys were playing that ball game in there and they let me play and they were really, really gracious. So that was great. And uh, the boy in me just wanted to play and play. But when I stopped, I was absolutely wringing wet. Now here's another way around Penang. Let's take an example from the police force. Hello, okay. how are you?
ask, um, how much is it for uh, to go for an hour touring an hour around? Normally, it's for eating it. This one and a half hours is 50 ringgit. So, I don't know if you heard that, but the guys, if he's got a baby on board and the baby's crying. <laughs> That's really cool. Thank you very much. Yes, yes I see you. Thank you. So, you're not short of ways of getting around Penang. There are so many different options for you. I've got to look into how I'm going to get around Penang. Um, for the time being and for the first few days, we're just going to hit the tarmac and walk. But I do want to look for a solution. And uh, at the moment, possibly a, a motor scooter. Look at the size of this uh, joystick. Did you ever see a joystick that big? What's it smell like? <laughs> it smells like bonfire. Man, I'm so excited. We've only been here barely a few hours. This place is gonna be so rich in food culture and history. It's beautiful, beautiful stonework here. It's all you can get your hand right inside. That reminds me of those carved balls you can get in China sometimes where they carve an elephant inside a ball. They are fantastic. One day I'll film it for you. Look at this beautiful temple. I'll just come inside because this is the second temple I've been in today. How gorgeous this is. I hope the light is picking up nicely. Now with all this walking, I'm getting hungry. So join me in the next videos. We'll be sampling some of the food delights of Penang, particularly in Georgetown for the moment. Share the love, give this one the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Be good. So you have the electric uh, scooter? Yeah, electric scooter. Yeah, I saw these. They're good, huh? Yeah, very good. How long did you drive? Uh, four hours. Four uh, hours? 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers? Yes. Cool. Man, he's just about to clamp this car. I'm trying to talk to him long enough. Maybe the person can come back and get their car, but it uh, looks not. Junction, no parking. Ah, yeah. Easy. Now hopefully my camera was on, I'm not sure if I caught that, but uh, did you see the traffic wardens there? They were clamping a car, so that's not always a great thing. But the guy was driving one of those uh, electric scooters. I had a little chat with him, and apparently they're used by the, uh, the government here. So that'll be something interesting to check out. Now he reckons that you can actually hire those electric scooters as well. So. Uh, Let's go and, and look into that. Let's see if we can find where I can get an electric scooter. Wouldn't it be great to actually have a whole uh, green experience while we're traveling around Penang? Did you rent it? Yeah. Okay, it's cool. It's smaller. I think you rent from here. The Bo Aqui. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So there's another little option. There's a little bike there that's tiny and compact. More commonly, you're gonna see this sort of bike. Loads and loads of tandems here on the island. Really fun. You recognize that? That's like the Kuala Lumpur Towers here in Penang. You see that symbol everywhere and it really represents all the artwork that you see around Penang Island. I would love to actually take one of those around, but not for a whole week. Nice, I like the bag. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Swindon, England. Thanks for your uh, photo opportunity. He's travelling, he's from Swindon in the UK. So he's travelling around, he's been going for a few months. This place is so popular, there's pretty much a constant queue of people waiting to have their photos taken with him. Shall I come back when it's a little quieter? Day long. How are you, my friend? You good? Yeah, you remember. Oh, you're famous, huh? The spirited face of Penang. Stanley, nice to meet you. Be good. Keep it real. Thank you. So that's Stanley. That'll be my designated uh, tri shore driver if we, if we go on one. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't he? certainly got a hat that stands out in a crowd. Hello. 